right, it's been another day. It's been another day since I, you know, vlogged the last scene. But we're here for another day and another vlog. And I hope you guys do enjoy. I probably already did an intro, but you know me, I just can never figure out how to do videos. <laughs> Even though I've been doing it for like 10 years plus. shots every day <laughs> you already know we have a, another video coming very shortly uh, I did some trails over there uh, but we're over here today and as you guys can see I'm not on the bike so you can't be doing none of that stuff today but you know it is what it is I think I was using manual autofocus and the autofocus went out of whack. So a couple of the clips, it's on manual focus. So it could be focused on my face or it couldn't be focused on my face. I just figured that out once I started doing other shots. But yeah, I was using manual focus. Kind of sucks. I mean, manual focus doesn't suck. It just sucks because I didn't fix it how I needed it. And I really didn't want to use it for vlogging because I just vlog continuous autofocus. It just autofocus. All right, we literally came to the other side. I'm just rolling back. I've been to this drainage spot a few times here and there. Don't know where I'm going. But we're gonna figure it out. And literally, I thought it was gonna be hot. I just said hot. Fuck, I can't even speak, but I cut the film. <laughs> When you think it's going to be cold outside and you don't know the temperature and you wear a beanie, you wear a full on hoodie with no shirt underneath. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Me apparently. Oh, I legit cannot help myself to explore every little thing that I come across. As you guys see in my BMX videos, how I explore, I just literally find anything anything that comes across my path. You legit explore every little thing, but doesn't mean we're gonna go in every little thing. We legit explore every little thing, but doesn't mean we're actually gonna go in every little thing. It's so blinding out here. I literally have glasses that I bought and I never bring them because I always forget them. I don't know why. I'm like dumb. On to the next spot maybe? Let's find out. Hopefully the mic sounds good. this is for me it ain't for me when everything's locked not when everything is locked sorry time for another day I legit thought it was gonna be cold but it's actually not that cold I'm sweating oh, I'm sweating sometimes to get that good shot you literally have to put your camera in sketchy areas which what I'm doing right now like I said, sometimes you have to put your camera in sketchy areas like where you think it's probably going to fall or you just have to take it to sketchy areas to get good content and that's exactly what we are doing right now. Sometimes it can be very sketchy trying to get the right shot, but you have to do what you have to do to try to get the shot and that's what we are doing. Legit, by the end of the day, it's very hard to try to find a spot where you can actually just talk and do this unless you have the right tripod. Because I don't have the right tripod. I don't have like a gorilla tripod where I can wrap it around and actually put the camera on there. But I actually have a Ulanzi. I have like the mini, the mini version for GoPro, but it works perfectly fine for the DJI. And some other cameras that I have, it works perfectly fine. I like it. But yeah, we gotta try to explore every spot that we can explore. It took me a while to try to find a spot. I was like, 
deciding through like 20 different spots and I could not find them and it just no, would not work and I tried to stand it up and it just would not stand up it was so sketchy so this was the best spot that I could possibly find but yeah we're trying to explore every spot that we can explore always we always do that and we always try to make the best content for you guys so if you guys do want to see anything else please do let me know like I said we make a lot on this channel to gaming to vlogging to a whole bunch of other stuff so if you are new Go ahead and subscribe. Legit, by the end of the day, it is pretty hard to actually find a spot to record a sit-down talk like this. But we try to explore as many spots as we possibly can explore. Like when we make a GoPro video, you guys know and you guys see everything we do. We just hit every spot that comes along our way where we're going or whatever direction we decide to go. And that's what I plan to do with a lot of videos is just explore. When we come to exploring videos, you just explore everything we can ex possibly explore. If it's a vlog, it could be something different, but we can do exploring inside of it. But yeah, if you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's get, get uh, I literally, I literally had to do this segment like three or four times because it's so hard to try to get the video right, to try to get the audio, to try to get what you're saying out. Very hard. But we're literally doing what we do and hopefully it sounds good legit by the end of the day it is pretty difficult to find a spot to put down your tripod if you don't have the right tripod you need a gorilla pod so you can wrap it around a lot of things and get versatile shots like this but if you have a smaller tripod it's pretty hard and you have to you know find spots to try to get your tripod so you can actually get out what you're saying if not you're just going to be handheld holding it trying to vlog and talk about what you're trying to say but either way we explore as many spots as we possibly can in a lot of videos especially when we do gopro videos we try to explore as many things as we possibly can and when people do that mess up the video come on bro and if you guys like this video go ahead and suggest more options that i can do but legit before i talk on too long let's continue this vlog when it comes to vlogging, you have to be creative with all of your shots. You can't just hold the camera the whole entire time and think it's going to be good. I mean, you can get a video out like that, but if you have more creative shots, the vlog is just a lot more interesting to begin with. And I, lit and I literally said it was extremely hot, but now it's getting, you know, it's feeling pretty good now. I think I have a few videos that I need to get done. Um, I have... A few on my computer that are already in Sony Vegas. I have some that are already done. I have one or two that are already uploaded. And I have ones that I just transferred over to my desktop so I can, you know, get them into Sony Vegas. And then we have this one. This is our current video. And uh, after this one, I'm going to try to make zero videos for like about two weeks. And then we're going to get straight into the grind. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully it's actually two weeks. If it's not two weeks, whenever I decide to come back, before I come back, I'll make a sit down video where I'm talking about what we are going to do for the future of this channel. Because you guys seen in the past, we went through a lot of different things. I've had a lot of beef on YouTube. I've had tons of collaborations. German and Venice to, well, not really collaboration, but having a lot of different people and youtubers in my channel because everybody knows when you put different types of youtubers in your videos it just makes for great content that's just facts i feel like i tried to make the dji osmo pocket into a vlogging camera whatever so on and so forth but i don't feel like the osmo pocket is actually good enough to be a vlogging camera because you need so many accessories it's very lightweight and portable very small quality is really good but at the end of the day do you want this giant dongle sticking out at the bottom of your thing with the microphone and all of this obviously you could do lavalier mics where it just attached to your thing and you have a few cables here and there but you still need to use the, the dongle either way at the end of the day this camera will always be in my possession if it breaks I'll just buy another one because I like the cinematic form that it actually pulls off I would always use it and store it in my pocket to use with my main vlogging camera obviously we don't have the main vlogging camera so I'm just using this one for the time being but I do want to get another camera shortly here on the channel it's 2 53 in the afternoon I don't know if we made enough content yet 
but we'll still explore. Not right now. I just need to take a break for 5, 10, 15 minutes. I said it wasn't hot a few minutes ago. It's freaking burning up now, again. I just can't wait to get home and just rip this freaking jacket off and all my freaking beanies and whatever else. Rip it all off. Rip it. Oh shit. That guy was just watching me off now. Oh jeez. If you guys know, I'm just a very shy person. So when people, you know, watch me randomly while I don't see them, it's, it's just awkward. It's just awkward time. Awkward time. But in reality, you should never worry about people watching you vlog or you vlogging in public. You just do your own thing and don't worry about them. Because I know a lot of people want to vlog. A lot of people cannot vlog because of certain reasons, because they don't have cameras. Most people have phones, but they don't think that's enough to vlog some people. And then other people have issues with people staring at them. They get uncomfortable with people staring at them while they're vlogging. Just do your thing and don't worry about them even in public, wherever you go. All right, guys, we're back. All right, so I need to get this off. I'm so sweaty. I'm not sure if today's vlog is over, but go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. At the end of the day, vlogging cannot be as easy as you guys may think it might be. But no matter how much you have been doing YouTube, and how much you know about cameras or how much you know about how to set it up you're always going to find new ways you're always going to find new cameras and you know you're always going to be learning about vlog setups like legit every single day i'm learning about new cameras even though i've been using cameras for like 10 years i've used dslrs i've used mirrorless cameras i've used tons of action cameras i know how to use cameras and i know how to work them and use them manually and use them auto setting and all of that stuff but you're still learning every single day like i just want new cameras every single day you like doing youtube when you like uh gaming and whatever you have an addiction basically and that's me with cameras and uh biking and gaming and whatever else 